Hi, in this video we'll discuss how to protect from session hijacking attack. Actually, what is session hijacking? Session hijacking occurs when a session token is sent to a client browser from the web server following to the successful authentication of a client logon. A session hijacking attack works when it compromises the token by either confiscating or guessing what an authentic token session will be, thus acquiring unauthorized access to the web server. To say it simply, the token session is actually a cookie. That is a short fragment of code. It serves to authenticate a user. For the web server, no, that's it's you who visit the website. This token allows to come into an account without entering a login and password. So web server sees this token and recognize that it's you and let you inside. And of course, if a malicious hacker steals this token, he can easily impersonate you and uh, come into your account and do anything he wants under disguise of you. That's a very bad situation. So, let's talk about how we can avoid it. The most popular session hijacking attack is a sniffing in the man in the middle attack and stealing the token via XSS attack. Take out the token, your authentication token, right to him. I demonstrated all of these attacks in my previous video course, Security Cyber Attacks. Red Team Activity. So, if you want to see the details, you can find them there. But in this video, I'll show how we can prevent these attacks. Happily, protection methods are very easy. To protect from the sniffing in, the, in a man-in-the-middle attack, you just need to protect from these dangerous attacks. You need only set two parameters to secure your web application. To protect from the man-in-the-middle attack, you should add secure flag to your authentication token. That means that this token will be sent only via HTTPS, so SSL protecting connection, and any attacker providing a man-in-the-middle attack won't be able to see it. Also, you need to set HTTP only flag. This parameter will protect you from XSS attack, because it means that uh, your authentication token won't be available to any JavaScript, but for HTTP protocol only. So, any attacker providing an XSS attack won't be able to steal your authentication token. To make it more clear, let's see how authentication token and cookie in general is constructed. So, any cookie has cookie's name, the cookie's value, cookie's domain, cookie's path, the date of expiration. It's a very important parameter for security, because the more expiration time is, the better for an attacker, because they, a small expiration time in every case where it's possible. Then we can see the size of the cookie, and here, at the bottom, we can see two parameters we have just talked about, HTTP and secure. Now let's see how it works in the wild. Here is my account in Code Academy website, and now let's see the parameters of uh, the cookie the website has. For that purpose, let's click on More Tools. Then go to Developer Tools. And here in Developer Tools, we choose Application Menu. And in this Application Menu, we can see all the cookies present on this website. Let me make it even bigger for you. So here, on the right, you can see HTTP and secure parameters. 
and in the left column we can see remember user token actually it's my authentication token that stores at the web server and uh, recognize me when I visit the website, the Codecademy website. As you can see here, HTTP flag is on and secure flag is also on. So we can say that the authentication token in this website is secured. You can set these flags on a web server level or on web or or on your website level. So you should check if these flags are set in the cookies of your website to be sure that nobody will steal the authentication token of your visitors. You can set these parameters on a web server level as well as your website level. How to do that for your website it could be different depending on what language your site was created. And uh, to choose how to do it for your website exactly, you can visit this you can visit this OS page that in details explains anything about turning HTTP only flag off in different environments. Great. Now you know how to defend yourself from a hijacking attack. In the next video, we will learn the big strategy. We will know about three shortcuts to secure a web application. See you in the next video.